Welcome back, and uh, I'm delighted to have on the couch Gary Nelson. Gary is from Waikato, with an outrageous Hamilton accent, we can tell. Absolutely, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, um, uh, loads of things we've been talking about, but in particular, what's caught our interest is your publishing career. So, um, would you have to tell us about your books? Uh, we'll probably start with the um, early one and then the later one. Yeah, so, so my, my first book I published in 2012, and it's uh, Gaz's Guide for Practical Project Management. Uh, and it is, it is a self-published book, but um, I'd, I'd always wanted to, to, to publish and write since I was younger. And when a colleague of mine in, in early 2012 announced the publication of his book, I was like, I didn't even know you were writing one. Good so, on you. so I thought about it. So, you know, life is life is short. You know, my 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 middle brother had been diagnosed with cancer, and it's like, you know, get, get a move on, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so I started writing a book, and I looked at what I'd written in my my blog, and uh, you know, Gaz's corner. And I've written a lot of articles that were topics around project management, but all with little stories in them. I, I looked at what I've written and looked at how I'd write a book, and I, I put it together and said, well, I've written half the book already. Yes. So yeah, yes. it's basically all sorted into, sorted into chapters. Um, I, in 2012, later, I went to a conference and uh, met up at the project management conference, met up with the uh, PMI Education Foundation uh, folks at one of their booths, and they said, well, that's really interesting, you know, the stories in your, you know, in, in your books, and it said very, very tongue in cheek. You know, your next book should be one for children. Yes, yes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Yes. So, you is know? this project management for children? This project management for children. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Exactly. Well done. Yeah. So, what type of? Yeah, um, no disrespect to the adult book, but, uh, but 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 the children's book. That that's an interesting twist. I don't think anybody could see coming, really. But um, so. What, what's the target audience for the children? So the, project the, the target audience is, is is really nine to twelve, or or, or possibly as early as eight. Mm -hmm. um, so, and it's you know really that middle school level. Yes. Yeah. So when I was talking with a lady, she said uh, there's a lot of activity happening at the high school level. Yes. There's there's there was a a, a picture book done for for you know grade ones in kindergarten, mm -hmm. and there's nothing in the middle. Right. So they said, well, we need something there. Yes. So so I took that that thought home and. And, and worried on the idea, spoke to my nine and ten year old youngest two children. Well done. And uh, excellent resource, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. So they were my first target audience. They helped choose the first type, the first book. Right. So you got a circulation of at least three for the book in there. A absolutely. Yeah. Actually, it was a little bit, little bit wider than that because yeah. uh, all three of those books are currently being translated into Portuguese. No. That's amazing. Yeah. So, um, and, and is that for the South American um, market, or, or? Uh, well, it will cover the South American market, but it's being done under Portugal. Yes. So, so oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that so that's that, that's quite exciting. That's amazing. Um, so yeah. So, the, the, basically, it's been a, a book a year, and it's all centered around these eight children, right? Yeah. Basically, middle school age children. They start yes. off at ten and eleven, and they kind of grow a little bit older. Um, the first one is the Ultimate Treehouse Project. The second one is the, the scariest haunted house project ever. The third one uh, published is the Amazing Science Fair project came out in May this year. Yes. And then the, the fourth book, which is which is in progress, um, is the Valentine's Day project disaster. Amazing. Yeah. That is really inspirational. I, I um, I've got two things going through my mind both at the same time, and the one thing is that we are looking at someone who's encouraging the next generation of project managers yeah. in effect uh, and uh, and that, that must be a lovely legacy for you to think you're leaving to the world oh really. well, it is it is you know when I started writing it was like it doesn't matter if more more than just my children read it's, it you know it, it, it's fun it's useful but it's actually having an, an, an impact on children and on families yeah. so a colleague of mine who her, her own children are like one and two year old at the, at the time uh, but her her nieces were uh, nine and ten and their nieces, her nieces were an absolute terror in the kitchen. They'd love to cook. They'd go into the kitchen, they'd pull stuff out of the cupboard and pull stuff down. And we're going to go cook some bread or cookies or whatever. Oh, we're mom, we're out of this. We're mom, we're out of that. And they have to leave the house with everything in a shambles and then go to the grocery store and come back and finish the cooking. And the mom would be like, yes. when it's all over. Um, so anyway, my colleague gave the, the, for the treehouse book to her, her two, the two nieces. Yes. And they each read it in turn. Yes. And the next week, the mother came into the kitchen, the two, the two daughters were standing there at the counter, quietly, together, with a piece of paper and a pen. She said, what are you doing? I said, we're cooking. Planning is cool, Mom. She's go. like, what have you done to my daughters? This is wonderful. And very, and very similar messages as well. So wow. the, the books are really, they're, they're novels, right? Oh. They're not like, you should do project management. Yes. They're, 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 you know, 230-page books 
that uh, chapter chapter books with you know, the, you know artwork on each each so chapter. If I wanted to buy, if I was a parent now listening to this, I think yes, I want several copies, um, and, uh, and that's the cool. next few Christmas is sorted out. So how would I buy these books? So the books are all available on on Amazon. Yes, uh, they're also through, available through Fish Pond as well. Right. So they're available uh, basically anywhere you can buy things online. Really. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, and just just to remind me of the names of the books. So the the Ultimate Treehouse Project. They're all part of the Project Kids Adventure series. Right. right. right? So if people Googled Gary Nelson project management books. Yeah, they find project you. management for kids actually yes. shows up pretty high near the top. Yep. So yeah. Outstanding. So, yeah. What an inspiration. Uh, we've had a lot of um, inspirational people, but that, that is absolutely outstanding. Well, thank Gary, you. I really enjoyed chatting to you. Thank you so much. Great. God bless you. Thank Good you. luck. Thank Take you. care. Thank you. Thank you.